I'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth. We have the distinct privilege of being here at the President's office at Morgan State University, Dr. David Wilson. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Oh, quite well, Mr. Glover. And you? Good, good. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get started in education? Well, uh, I uh, got started in uh, education uh, uh, quite a long time ago. Uh, I um, went, did my undergraduate work at a place called Tuskegee University, uh, and it was really at Tuskegee that I became fascinated with uh, the role of university administration. Uh, I was fortunate to be there uh, during the tenure of uh, one of the more phenomenal presidents in HBCU history, uh, uh, the late Luther Foster, and um, he was a great mentor. Uh, and so uh, from there, I decided to go on into university administration uh, and went to Harvard and received a master's from Harvard and my doctorate from Harvard. Uh, and then um, uh, got an opportunity to go to one of our HBCUs as a Woodrow Wilson Fellow, went down to Kentucky State University. And uh, there I worked with the youngest college president in America at the time, a guy named Raymond Burse. He was 30 years old. And uh, and I became fascinated by uh, the kind of transformational model that was in place at Kentucky State. Uh, and then I uh, went on from there uh, to uh, Rutgers uh, University and uh, spent some time there and then became the uh, first uh, black person to assume a vice presidency at Auburn. Went into the deep south there uh, and stayed there for about 11 years uh, and then went on to the University of Wisconsin where I became the first chancellor in that system's history. First uh, black uh, chancellor? Uh, not the first black chancellor. The first chancellor. The, the, the first chancellor to head up uh, two institutions at the same time. Uh -huh. and, and one of those institutions actually had 13 campuses, uh, mm -hmm. and the other was a statewide institution. Uh, and so um, I became interested in education early on, uh, and then, of course, uh, through the years, uh, have become more fascinated by the magic of education uh, the magic of higher education and, and how higher education can be used to transform literally a person's life. And that's why I'm here at Morgan. Do you think higher education <coughs> has done its duty with respect to African Americans and the black community? Well, you know, that's a sort of a bifurcated uh, uh, response here. Um, because, you know, one cannot really answer that question without looking at higher education historically. Uh, and so if you were to say to me, uh, what was the role of higher education from 1636 until roughly 1860 uh, in uh, ensuring that blacks in this country had opportunities you know, to go to colleges or universities, I would say absolutely not, that those institutions from Harvard in 1636 up until 1862 played absolutely no role in educating blacks in this country because for the most part,